it's Elisa here or the Diamond Stitcher as I go by on YouTube and Instagram. Hello, good uh, morning or afternoon, whenever time it is for you. I hope you're having a wonderful day. If you are new to my channel, first off, welcome. I'm happy you found me and I hope you would consider subscribing and sticking around for all things diamond painting. And if you're returning, thank you so much for your continued support. This package just arrived and I had to stop everything I was doing and film. This is a new to me shop that I've never bought from before and it's also something kind of exciting. Um, this is the package I got from Diamond Art Studio UK. Now, if you're part of my Canadian group, you you may have heard the rumblings of a bunch of us waiting for our packages and crossing our fingers if we have to pay um, broker fees and duties and how much extra we would have to pay at the door. I'm crossing my fingers for all of you because for me, I had to pay nothing. Um, UPS dropped it off and left. There were no bills, no charges. I had checked my tracking a few times in the last couple of days, actually, because for UPS, it'll usually pop up in, once you click the tracking, for me at least, it will show me at the very top, like a little warning that you owe so much money on it. And this wasn't, there was no warning for this one. So I was crossing my fingers when it arrived that... Uh, Truly, I didn't have to pay anything, and I had to pay nothing. Um, hopefully, I don't get a bill later. If I do, of course, I'll let you guys know. But hopefully, uh, this is good news for you guys, too. This is Diamond Art Studio UK. It's a, obviously a UK-based shop. I've never ordered from them before. I've never done a canvas from them. And I'm excited to get into this. So I... I I've done, I haven't done anything. I'm going to try not to show the addresses. Uh, that's why everything's upside down. But this is how it came, just like this. Uh, there was no outer box, so it looks like it's wrapped in, it feels like a bubble mailer, and then it's wrapped in saran wrap. There are two packages by the looks of it. There's one on the top and then this big box here. So I'm just going to cut into this, and we are going to see what it's all about so this um, part here underneath is paper and yeah it does have some bubble to it now I don't want to cut through anything important so that's why I'm kind of being a little bit careful here I also don't want to cut myself uh, let me know how you guys are doing down below now when will this video go up I have no idea probably sometime in November actually maybe early November um, because I'm excited to share this with all of you guys and I might start working on it too um, a bit of a spoiler warning that this does contain Diamond Art um, Studio UK's Advent Kit. Now I'm hoping things are packaged well that I can kind of peek at it and not ruin the surprise, but it is their mystery kind of kit. Now I will do my best here not to, to obviously spoil anything if you want it to be a surprise. Um, but I did want to open this on camera because uh, it's a new to me shop. Not that I wanted you to see me murder this package, but <laughs> I don't want to cut into anything. And of course, it doesn't help that I have nerve damage and can't use my hands properly. But that's where our X-Acto comes in. Gosh, this is hard. Hold on. It's definitely packaged very well. There's going to be little bits of paper everywhere. My husband's going to have a bit. Now, I hope there's no address on the inner box. Let me just check. Nope, doesn't look like it. That's beautiful. And then, yes, there is something else here. And is that it? I think so, yes. So let me move this giant packaging out. And um, mini charts. Here we go. So Diamond Arts, look at this mess. Diamond Arts Studio UK. They package their things. Uh, their theme color is purple, and it looks like um, this was packaged very nicely. You can tell based on this inner packaging. There's no big dents or creases or bumps in the box, so it came in that little bubble mailer. It seemed to travel quite well from the UK to Canada. I would say when they dispatched it, it probably took a week. I think they dispatched it actually late last week, and it's arriving today which is Tuesday afternoon. So it probably took maybe three business days to get to me. Now I know, obviously it came UPS, but I can't remember if there was an option. I don't think there was. I think it was one fee. 
Uh, but I had emailed the owner letting her know kind of our conundrum as Canadians, what we experience when we order things internationally. And I did ask her to bump up my shipping if um, there was any money extra because I know when you do that uh, with UPS, um, that takes down the broker fee by quite a bit, I believe. But um, I don't think they did that. I did also ask her to look into cheaper options, DHL or um, sending it from their UK post, which I think is Royal Mail, to Canada Post. Um, they were going to look into it. They never got back to me. I don't know if they got too busy and, you know, didn't look into it or not. But it did come UPS. This looks very nice. So they've got their purple ribbon and they've got this it looks like kind of like a, a malleable kind of credit card type material thank you for your purchase diamond art studio we pride ourselves in offering the highest quality diamond painting kits available straight from our uk warehouse stay updated with our latest offers and designs and there is their website diamondartstudio.co.uk and then they also have a facebook group i don't know if i'm part of that facebook group i should join um I will do my best to also link those in the description box if you just want to click. Uh, I'm excited to get into this. Again, I'm going to open everything cautiously because I know there's a couple of you at least that uh, don't want, that want to keep it a mystery. And I know on their website in the listing, at least last time, at least when I ordered, it had uh, asked everybody to not spoil the mystery for others. And um, the idea behind this is you work on... Um, a mini diamond painting kit that's a mystery image and it's kind of like an advent style we're going to open it and find out i think things are like day whatever open this day whatever open this um and then as those dates come then you can post on social media but they want to keep the surprise for those who want to kind of partake in it uh, as it's meant to be this is probably one of the most beautiful boxes i've seen you all know my favorite color is purple look at that box it's very holographic. They've got diamonds on the ends. Diamond Art Studio UK. High quality painting canvas, port glue, and resin drills premium tool kit. Got a couple images there. Again, this side is the same. And then over here, they have some instructions listed here. How to diamond paint. Then all of their, uh, the top one is their website. Then their Instagram handle and their Facebook. And then, of course, uh, warning, choking hazards. Uh, let me pop this open. As you can actually see in this box, look how pristine that is. There's no dents or bang-ups or anything. That's uh, positive. I have heard good things about this shop. And I am excited again. I am going to quickly peek. Now, this, this canvas, the nice thing about it is it's blank. So you're not going to see anything right now looking at the screen. So all I'm going to show you right now is what the canvas looks like that we're going to be working on and what the diamonds look like. Let me just pull this up. Awesome. So this is kind of set up like a cross-stitch conversion. If you have no idea what that means, I will tell you. Cross-stitch conversion is where, sorry, my camera, I was trying to move it. Cross-stitch conversion is where you have this blank canvas that looks just like this. There are absolutely zero symbols on it. It's just grids. And uh, then you have a pattern, either a paper pattern or a, usually like what I use is on a Samsung tablet with Pattern Keeper. And it's a cross-stitch pattern. And instead of stitching it, you put the dimes down instead uh, in a way uh, following the pattern. It's a lot easier when you do it with Pattern Keeper for an actual like giant conversion. But these ones, it looks like are mini and it's probably going to take up one of these squares. So they're very mini uh, little diamond paintings. You could probably do a section a day. 5, 10, 15, 20. Yeah, so that's awesome. So there's 25 squares on here. So there is a section a day. That's going to be really awesome. I think it's going to be a lot of fun. I've, again, I've never done a project like this. Um, I did see Diamonds and Washi Katie do the kind of official sneak peek for the company. So do check that out. Uh, if you want kind of more more details probably than I'm going to give, I'm just going to review and, and look at it for my own and myself and what I'm going to be doing. Um, they did send a sticker sheet, which is nice. There's no spoilers on this. There is there just usually this is probably where they usually have the image. So you can cut it out and put it in your paper log book. But because this is uh, um, set up like a mystery, it's just a um, slide there. 
uh, Christmas kit and it's designed by the Diamond Art Studio team. This entire sheet is a sticker. So as I said, you could cut this out and put it in your log book. Here are our stickers. They are on the larger size, which is nice. You don't have to squint to see the symbols and they actually have quite a, they have these perforated here to be used. So you can actually just peel and stick like most premium companies have. And then this is just blank, so you could cut your own labels there. But these labels look nice, and I like right away that I'm seeing one is one, two is two, three is three, and so on down to it looks like eight. I really like that. And then it looks like they are alphabet and symbols, so A, B, C. Now they're missing letters, but it looks like they are otherwise in alphabetical order, which is neat. And then their symbols, of course, there's no order to symbols, so they're just listed there. I like how that is set up though. And then right away I'm seeing at the bottom, there are gonna be four ABs. Now the diamonds they give us for this Christmas advent are um, this entire package is for the entire painting. So the, you know, you're not getting just a pack of diamonds for each square. It's, these are the diamonds for the entire canvas. I'm surprised seeing a lot of purples. I'm gonna be really interested to see what kind of images they've uh, made that has so many shades of pink and purple. That'll be interesting. Uh, I will open these after. We'll take a look. They are squares. Uh, as you can imagine, if you do a cross-stitch conversion type canvas on a round uh, with rounds, you're going to see all of this white background through. It's going to be really noticeable, especially over dark drills. So um, I've actually never seen a round kind of mystery kit. Uh, every one that I've seen is squares because you want the resin bits to cover up that white completely. Um, fingers crossed that they, uh, again, I've never worked on a kit from them with squares, you know, we'll take a look, but uh, at first glance, these look like great squares. I'm not seeing a lot of tabs or trash on these top diamonds and they're looking really sparkly. Uh, the biggest thing I hate with squares is tabs. If there's a lot of tabs, I know I'm not going to have fun diamond painting because, um, squares with tabs, they just do not work. They do not go together, but I like what I'm seeing so far here. Um, yeah, super excited to see this. I don't think I've actually seen... Actually, that's a lie. I have seen somebody finish. Of course, Diamonds Awashi finished the sweet shop uh, from Diamond Art Studio UK. There's another creator I saw recently finish that one too. Um, I can't remember the name. Uh, I've seen... So I've seen a couple finishes, but... Um, Obviously, I have not seen anyone work on this. As far as the canvas is, it's a thinner canvas, but it's it's not super flimsy. It's, as you can see, like it's not flimsy, it's, it's sturdy, but I would say it's a bit of a thinner canvas than other companies that I've worked on. Uh, the top of the canvas is also different. It's kind of like a slippery feel to it. I don't know really how to describe it. There is no glitter on the top which really doesn't matter to me. That's just something that other companies have. <laughs> it makes no difference. You're going to put your diamonds down and then probably paint the border anyways. At the top, you have their uh, branding, Diamond Art Studio UK. I love that their color is purple. This is where they probably would usually have uh, the thumbnail of the image. We just have that slide there, of course. This is a total 45 by 50. I think that would be, would that be centimeters? I actually have a ruler. I usually don't measure things, but uh, since this is a new to me company, let's see how their measurements are. Yeah, so just a, uh, a little bit shy of, well, actually, actually 45 on the button. And then I said it was 50 the other way, right? Let me turn this. This is a super reasonable uh, size of a canvas. I'm actually super excited to do this one. Yeah, and pretty much maybe one little millimeter short of 50. So it's true to size. Um, that is important because if you are going to decide to frame this entire picture, you're going to want to take take note that the 40 by 50 is just the grid and it doesn't account for any of this border. So if you're planning on buying a frame, painting this border to have a bit of like a, a matte, uh, a matte board look, then you'll want to actually measure it before buying your frame. Otherwise it, you might have to cut right up to the diamonds if you get an exact 40 by 50, if that makes sense. Um, the plastic on it is, is it thin? It's a thin plastic. I actually would say probably a medium plastic. It's not the thinnest I've uh, seen, and it's also not the thickest. It's good. Um, 
glue is super sticky. And then as far as, wow, that's amazing. On the, the side, I'm seeing zero glue overhang. And up here, just a millimeter. Let's check the bottom. And on this side, there's probably about a two millimeter glue overhang. And down here, basically uh, one, zero to one. So that's really nice. There's not a big glue overhang. That becomes a problem if you have lots of dust around or pets and or sweater fuzz this time of year. If you're wearing a sweater when you're diamond painting and your sweater touches the outside glue, you'll get all that fuzz around there. So um, I really like it when companies keep the glue to the glue field and it doesn't extend. Now there is a quick fix for that, which is washi tape, of course. That's why you see a lot of people border their canvases in washi is to cover that excess glue, but this one will not need it at all. And yeah, they do have two schematics. So they have one on the top um, right and one on the bottom left, which is nice. This canvas is really nice to move around. Uh, you know, sometimes I find canvases are just so stiff, especially if they're bigger. They're really hard to manage on kind of the workspace that I use, which is one of those lap desks on the couch, <laughs> which is not, not easy to maneuver around. But this canvas is very pliable, but still sturdy. I really like it actually. Uh, here we go. Social media. Sorry, I'm off a bit. Uh, Facebook, Diamond Art Studio UK, and also on Instagram under the same name. Here is their website. I love the fonts that they're using on their canvases. And then down here, um, it's designed by the Diamond Art Studio team. So Diamond Art Studio UK carries licensed artwork. Uh, that refers to art. Oops, sorry. That refers to art that uh, the artist has given permission for its use and also being paid or fairly compensated. Licensed art in diamond painting and also the crafting community in general is really important. Um, without our artists, we would have no art to do, right? So uh, supporting licensed art is important. This design uh, doesn't have the artist name on here because their team uh, developed this themselves. So uh, I'm super excited. Now, let me go over the colors of the diamonds because that's not going to give anything away. It might get you guessing, but I don't think it's going to give anything away. So I guess I should say, if you don't want to see, you know, me go through the colors that are included in this kit, then you might want to look away from this screen or fast forward the video. Again, I will do another spoiler before I look at what's in this box and I will look off of camera first before um, that but I'm really excited to see their diamonds so I really like how they're packaged here they're in this long strip which is nice I kind of I actually dislike it when they come all cut apart and kind of falling everywhere I like this better um, we have a lot of this color look at that how many bags of this 209 so our very first Color is 209 and there are six bags. I'm really interested to see what images have this color in it. I don't know, when I think of Christmas, I think typical red, blue, green, white, right? I don't really think of pink. I'm excited to see um, what this might go to. Looking at the, here, I can turn it around and we can really see the diamonds quality. So nice straight edges, no tabs. I'm not seeing any trash. They do look super sparkly. I'm trying to take a look at the number of facets. I'll flip it back over this way. They have the mix of like right, the very top uh, part of the diamond is flat and it's either in the shape of a diamond or a square. So that's very common. We see that often, but the, the coating on the top of these diamonds, like the color looks very nice. It's not, they're not scratched or scuffed up. Um, they look good quality. Looking in all of these bags, they look great. I mean, you cannot, now this is a thing that's coming up this time of year. Everybody's posting about it, static. There are tips for static and there's standard tips. I will share mine that work every time. So what I do is when I'm kitting up my diamond painting, whether I'm putting it into containers or Ziploc bags, I will cut the top of this off. I will take a Q-tip dipped in rubbing alcohol and I will swirl it around a few times in this bag. I will then pour these diamonds into my container or Ziploc baggie. In that container, I will have one or two little squares of dryer sheet. Depends how staticky they are. Uh, one is usually enough. If it's super staticky, I'll throw an extra one in there. I give that container or the bag a good shake, put it aside, uh, and I usually don't work on the diamond painting right away. It takes about a day for all of the static to calm down, and 
when I come back to it the next day, the static is gone. Now I live in British Columbia, Canada, so my climate is I don't I don't even know what you describe it as. It's not humid here. It's it can get hot, but we don't have humidity. Um, and right now it's very cold. Um, these don't look like they have static. Usually you can kind of tell. They don't look like they do. But I did want to share those tips because I've been seeing that question coming up daily now. Um, static is often related to climate. Uh, that's why we're seeing an uptick in posts about it is because the change in weather does affect the, these diamonds as well. Anyway, next color, we have tons of these too. We have one, two, three, four bags of 210, which is a different shade, a little lighter pink. And then we have five bags of 211. So as you can see on the bag, I guess I should uh, go over this. So on the top, you see 03. That corresponds to... I wish I had three hands. That corresponds to 03 here. It doesn't say up here, but this first column here is considered the serial number. So it's gone one through 37. So this kit has 37 colors. 211 is the DMC. So when we take a look here, we're gonna see that the DMC matches, okay? And then this code at the bottom, I believe is, yes. So this big number letter mashup here is the code, the model number on the canvas. So if you have an issue with your canvas and if a company ever asks for the model number, that's usually where you can find it. Um, and in this company, they have it on the bags as well. So uh, I guess I should note that this bag didn't come with any label on it. So if you do store your canvases separate from your diamonds, uh, how you would uh, find them again if you forgot to label them is this model number here matches. That number is going to be the same on all of these bags. And it just matches the model number on the canvas. Okay, so we've got lots of pinks in here. I really... Um, if you guys have guesses on what kind of Christmas images have a lot of pinks, leave them in the comments down below. I don't think that's against the rules. I don't want to spoil anything, but um, I'm curious what you guys think. Because I can't really think of anything unless there's like northern lights. Um, I don't know if they see northern lights in the UK or uh, maybe like a sweater, an ugly sweater or a toque or mittens or something. I have no idea. Um, we have 224. We have some 307, little bag of 310. Now, 310 is usually where um, you really look for, um, what am I trying to say? 310 is where you're going to see a lot of trash. If there's trash in uh, diamonds, it's in the 310 or 939, some of the dark colors. Um, it's hard for you to see that through the camera, but looking here, I'm not seeing trash. I'm not seeing, I don't think I'm seeing any tabs, no. No, these look really good, like really good. And the tops of them are super shiny. We've got a beautiful red, which is 321, and then 415, which is a gray. Uh, here we go. So this bag has static. So you can tell that you're going to have static in this one, just the way those diamonds are. So again, I would cut the top off of here, stick my Q-tip that I've already dipped in rubbing alcohol. I do dab it on a paper towel first, so I'm not putting all this liquid inside. Um, it's just enough. And then I swirl it around a few times. Sometimes you have to do it twice, but um, yeah, it's an easy fix. It really is. Uh, we've got, so that's one bag of 433, we've got one bag of 434 and 435, 436. So we've got lots of blending or shading there with the browns. We've got 444 and a bunch of reds now, 498, 606 and 666. That is a vibrant red. I'm, I'm noticing in their diamond colors too, the colors are super vibrant. They look beautiful. I'm really happy about that. 17, 8, or sorry, 720, 721, 738, 741, 742, 762, 898, 904, 905, 906, 907, 995. Lots of greens and reds, which I would expect, and browns. I don't know, when I think of browns, I think of the reindeer. Uh, 996, 3776, 3801. 3843, 5200. There are two bags of that one. And now we're into our AB. So our first AB for this painting is going to be 444, which is yellow, as you can see. The AB coating looks really nice on these. Let me see if I can flip it. 
looks really nice you can see that so it has a special coating you can see kind of these white ones are just plain white these ones are yellow and then on the top they have a coating on it that makes it shine different colors so it's it's that's why it's called an ab ab stands for aurora borealis which stands for the northern lights so depending on the way the light hits them we're going to see all the colors of the northern lights a little bit of yellow we've got a lot of this purple color 552 the darker purple we've got a red 666 so it looks like they use uh, possibly the the dmc number and they just put ab after it so i don't think they have a special you know classification system and here as well uh, 5200 ab i bet we're going to see that in snow and snowflakes and icicles probably awesome awesome so that's the diamonds now what i'm going to do is i'm going to still talk here but i'm going to just pop this one off the screen to open it up and just make sure that i'm not spoiling anything uh and before i do i will definitely tell you to look away this is awesome okay no spoilers yet so inside this box we have uh instructions here so it says each envelope contains a chart your canvas has doors outlined with pre-printed symbols so what they're talking about um like it, an advent calendar usually it has a door that you open and you pop out the chocolate right so this is the door and these up arrows that's just uh, showing you that um that's kind of the border of this image so that's considered the door Select any door on the canvas and fill it in by using the pattern on the chart. Each chart is the same size and will fit any of the doors or squares, right? Um, they've charted it this way. So you can follow their uh, charting here, which would mean that when you have your envelopes here, day one would go up here, day two, day three, day four, day five, and then they've done day six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So you could do that or you could be creative and you can pick an envelope and just put it in any one of these squares. It doesn't matter where it is. Uh, so you could do it that way, or you could even jumble up all of these envelopes. I assume they look like they're all in order. You could have uh, somebody or you jumble them up and then still go this way, but um, your days are gonna be different. So instead of doing it in order, number one to 25, you're, maybe day one is actually gonna be 22 and day two is gonna be 18. So you'll have 22 and 18 and so forth. So. There's a few different ways that you could utilize this canvas and work on it, which I think is awesome. Um, what else does it say? This is, yeah. We kindly ask that you do not share the completed stages on social media until after the respective day. So what I would assume is day one is December 1st, day two is December 2nd and so forth. So if you did jumble it up and move it around, and you say you did 22, you wouldn't be able to share it on social media until December 22nd, even if you did it on day one. They're asking you to be kind and, and to do that. So um, what I might do is just do it in order. Maybe I would switch up the um, squares for fun. I don't, I, I don't know, I haven't decided yet. Or I might leave it like this because I do wonder if uh, the images are kind of connected in a way and they've charted it this way for um, a reason, right? Who knows? Um, they will create a daily post in December on their Facebook page for you to share your progress. So I know a lot of people have asked me if I will allow this in the Winter DP Along, which is a diamond painting event that I'm hosting this December. Um, it's called Winter DP Along 2023. <laughs> no creative names from me. Um, it's going to start December 1st. It's going to go through December 31st. Any Christmas holiday or winter theme kits are allowed. And I've had questions about this kit. I know that there are some people who um, aren't going to have their canvases by December 1st. I, I got my canvas in the part, the first batch. Uh, they sold out rather quickly, I believe, and then they quickly ordered a whole bunch more. So there's a bunch of people I know in my Canadian group that are um, in that second batch. And I know a few of them expressed to me they don't want to uh, see these images because they want it to come to life for them. They don't want to be want it ruined. I had thought of opening up some sort of chat just for this, but I think I'm going to pass this year, mostly because 
I'm tired. I just hosted the fall diamond painting event, which went from September to October. Um, most of you know that I deal with a lot of health problems and every day is a constant struggle. And, you know, November is going to be my recoup month, but I think I'm still going to feel pretty worn out. And having just doing my normal things for the event wears me out enough. I think if I had this kind of off to the side, uh, it would just be a little too much. I would hate that my health took me out and I couldn't keep up, if, if you know what I mean. So I think for the winter event, I'm going to say no to this um, because I just don't want it ruined. And I don't want to, you know, make promises and not be able to keep up, basically. Um, but like I said, on their little form here, they say that their Facebook group, uh, they're going to post daily so you can share your progress each day on there. So um, I don't know if they're going to do prizes or do anything. I think it's just, you know, a post uh, kind of just to share your progress together, kind of like Whip Wednesdays, right? And they're going to do that every day. So uh, if you want some interaction and sharing with other people, I'd recommend you join their Facebook group for that. Um, but yeah, I know another Christmas event going on also is not going to allow uh, mystery kits, which this is considered a mystery kit. So um, yeah, tough decision. I did want to work on this. I think I am going to work on it behind the scenes. Um, and I'll, I'll be joining their Facebook group to kind of see and share progress there too. But uh, as far as the event goes, I think I'm going to leave it off just, just for the sake of those that don't want it spoiled and aren't receiving their kits in time. Now I do want to peek at one of these. So I'm going to pull it off camera and I'm just going to take a look and see what's in this envelope. Bear with me here. This is very cute. So I think I'm going to show uh, part of this. I'm going to just so that you can kind of see what, what a pattern looks like. Uh, what I'm going to show is not going to spoil anything. I'm just showing a few lines of the pattern. Um, when you deal with cross-stitch conversions and patterns like that, it's, it's um, what's the word I'm looking for? It's, you shouldn't share the full pattern because then somebody could screenshot it or save it and they're basically stealing the pattern for free. They're not paying the artist or the company where the pattern came from. So uh, when you do show patterns, usually you just show a small part. So what I'm going to show now is not going to give anything away. You're not going to be able to tell which uh, image this uh, first one is. I just want to show you what you're going to receive in the envelope in case some people uh, uh, want to see, okay? Uh, so here we go. So inside the envelope, we have this little paper. It's probably about a four by six paper. It fits inside the envelope. It's got Diamond Art Studio UK, and it tells us here uh, what day it is. On this side, we have a schematic. So that's our legend. It's the same legend that's on the canvas, and it's going to match up to our diamonds. And then I'll pull it up to the screen so you can see what a cross-stitch conversion pattern kind of looks like. So it's a black and white pattern, very much like a mystery kit. And what you do, because these are um, um, not digital copies, they're uh, paper, what I would do is I would get a highlighter or a, a, maybe a Sharpie would be better. And as I'm, as I'm finishing, as I'm placing diamonds, I'm crossing off as I go so that I don't get lost. So let me zoom in here so I don't have to, whoops, there we go. So I don't have to um, bend in weird ways. So uh, what you would do is, where am I now? I'm too zoomed in. So number one is here. So that's where we're going to put um, number one. Luckily, their uh, serial number and their symbol code matches. So that would be this number. So you're going to grab this bag of diamonds and you're going to put those all over where number one is. Okay, some people might do it methodically, like uh, push these three ones, then put the check mark, put these ones, put the check marks and do it that way. What I would do is I would do the ones in this entire image before I move on to the next color, just because then I'm not pouring diamonds in and out or I don't have a bunch of trays out with diamonds in them. So I would do all of the number ones and then the check mark. Um, let me just pull this because I don't want to show any more. So the check mark is number 37. And so you grab your 37, uh, bag of 37, which is your 5200 AB. And that diamond would go all over where there are check marks. So all over the place. Same with this uh, equal sign. You would look for your equal sign, which here is 31. You'd grab that bag of diamonds and you would put that color where the equal signs are. That's all I'm going to show of this. Okay, so this is what it will look like. Again, the pattern is it goes from like, let me zoom out again. 
The pattern is on this whole paper, okay? It's going to fit in each little square here. And yeah, each day you will do a new one. Now I'm going to pop this back in because I don't want to accidentally show it on camera. But that's really nice. These little papers are nice. A highlighter might actually smudge on this kind of paper, so maybe a ballpoint pen would be better. Um, it's kind of like a shiny paper. I don't know how to describe it any better. But the pattern itself, as you can see, the printing on it is very clear. You're not going to have trouble seeing anything at all. And I really like that they do, uh, all spoilers are gone now. Um, I really do like how they have the schematic on that as well. And um, super easy to read and super easy to follow. So to keep it nice and simple, you've got this waiting for you on December 1st. You do this one on December 1st and you put it in that square. Then on December 2nd, you do this one and you put it on the next square and so forth. December 3rd and December 4th and 5th. And you can just go on it that way. If you want to be creative, mix it all up and do the, the squares at random. I am super excited to get into this and start this. I think I am going to... Now, the only issue, I might... I don't know what I'm going to do, you guys, because... Um, because of all the things I deal with, I don't have a lot. I can't diamond paint a lot like some of y'all. Like I don't have hours to diamond paint. It's all dependent on how I feel um, and if I'm in a lot of pain and if my arms work or not. That's the big determining factor. <laughs> uh, if the nerves are working or not. Uh, but I would say like a section like this would probably be all I would diamond paint in a day. Uh, it does take a little bit extra mental effort because uh, you are using a paper pattern and it's not just blind placing. You kind of have to pay attention and you have to count a little bit um, as you're going. So it would be a little bit more mental effort. Um, if you yourself deal with any chronic health, you know that um, brain fog is real and, um, you know, we don't have energy, physical energy, but we also run out of mental energy, uh, quite quickly. So, uh, I, I am not sure what I'm going to do if I am going to save this for December, but then I couldn't share my progress because right now I'm working on Diamond Art Club's Dakota Date Weiler Christmas Eve at the workshop. That was the sneak peek I got and I kitted up right away. Actually on the Saturday it released, I kitted up and I started it. Um, who knows? I could be finished that before the event starts. Um, probably not, but maybe I will give this a go and see how long it actually does take me to complete one square because it really would be fun to do in the actual advent style like this. And um, I will say, because if some of you that want the mystery to be a complete mystery until the painting is done, you could tell what image this was looking at that pattern. So if you wanted a complete mystery, what I would recommend is get your spouse or somebody in your household to take the pattern out and put a release paper over it so you can't see the actual pattern in full. I'm going to peek at uh, day two off camera just to see if I can see the image as well. I'm not going to look at all of them, but that's what I might do if you don't want the image to be spoiled. See the second image, day two here, I can't really make out what it is. Again, no spoilers, it's not on the uh, camera. I might have an idea, but I really don't know. I won't know until I place diamonds on this one. So um, that's just a side note. If you don't want each daily pattern to be spoiled, um, Take it out of the envelope carefully and maybe have somebody put a release paper or something over top of it and just um, pull the release paper down as you're working on the rows. That way uh, you're only seeing what you need to see. Um, I thought I'd throw that hint out there if if you don't even want to see the image. You just want it to come together as your diamond painting. That might be an idea. Anyways, that's it for this unboxing. Jeez, I'm 40 minutes. I just, you know, talk too much sometimes, but I enjoy talking to you guys, even though you're not answering me right away. Um, let me know in the comments if you got this uh, Diamond Art Studio UK Advent Calendar. Let me know if you got the first batch or the second batch. Are you going to do it this year? Are you going to do it in December? Uh, do you not care that it's an Advent and you're just going to start it as soon as you get it? I don't think there's any events that will allow it, so uh, I can't ask about that. Uh, but yeah, also let me know how you're doing, how you're holding up. I know in the Facebook group, Licensed DP Fans Canada, I did a little mental health check-in. 
last week and a lot of people were struggling or on the verge of struggling please know you are never alone not in my tribe not on my group you uh, always have somebody and there's probably always somebody going through something similar to you so if you ever need to reach out or share uh, please know my group is a safe space and I strive to keep it that way and my inbox is always open if you are struggling and you just need to vent uh, I also have a, quite a few great mods that uh, also um, are wealth of knowledge and information uh, should you want to reach out to them as well um, I guess I should tell them first that I'm offering their inboxes but um, they're great women and they've got great advice if you need it. So uh, anyways, that's it for this unboxing. I really can't wait to start this. I might even do one tomorrow. What is, it's not even, over, it's October 31st, the day I'm filming this. Maybe I will do this in November, one a day in November. I don't know, you guys. I have no idea what I'm going to do. I'll ask a few people what they think. Anyways, that's it for me jabbering on. Uh, if you are new to the channel and you made it to the end, you will probably like it here. Leave me a little emoji in the comments. How about a Christmas tree? Since this is a Christmas unboxing, uh, let me know you made it to the end. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button. You can push the notification bell. That will notify you anytime I do post a new video. Um, I try and post two, two to three videos a week while I can, all health dependent, of course. And if you are not part of the Facebook group, please come join us. It's Licensed DP Fans Canada. I know Canada is in the name, but you do not need to be Canadian to join. We probably have about a 50-50, well, maybe not 50-50, because we, <laughs> I was going to say, we have 50-50 Canadians and U.S. Uh, citizens, but we also have people from the Philippines, the U.K., Belgium, Australia, I'm probably missing a bunch of places, but everybody really is welcome. Uh, everybody's welcome in my events. You do not need to be Canadian. Everybody is welcome in my group to post, to share, to ask questions and everything. The only Canada part of that group is the D-stash posts. But um, yeah, come join us over there if you haven't. All the links will be in the description box as well, where you can find me on Instagram. I'm trying to be better at posting on Instagram. I kind of fell off the wagon there for a little bit because I am just so burnt out with my health, you guys. Anyway, time to go rest. Um, until the next video, happy diamond painting. Bye.